Greetings, infidels! It is I, your favorite person in the entire world. As you clearly can see, I got a mic now! Anyway, so we're going to start this off proper. Uh, last time I did this was the first time in a long time that I did a rant. It felt great. And, it, like, I didn't really even leave. Weird, right? Weird how things can turn out. It's like when, when you wake up as a baby for the first time and you see life, right? You don't really know exactly how you're going to react. You might see a truck and go, ooh, it's shiny. There's very things in life that, that can do that. And it's like kind of go. It's like kind of going to a shoe store for the first time, right? You go to a Foot Locker and you see every shoe available that you ever wanted. It's all there. That's what my rant was like last week. It was like a first time, but it felt natural. Okay, with that in mind, there's a few things that. I would like to get out of the way. Not really, but I feel like they need to be heard. First things first. I spoke last time about public transportation. And I'm going to somewhat continue. Sorry, my, sorry mic malfunction. It happens. So, uh, you ever gone to a taxi and uh, you go in there and it immediately smells like cigarettes and, and Xanax? It's the worst thing in the world, man. It truly is. Okay? It's like... When you give a taxi driver $10, that also might be $10 that he could use for his, for his next fix. I know. I know he doesn't tell you that. But it's the truth. Taxi drivers are no different than bus drivers. They're not horrible people, but they're... They're just people that you just ask why. Why are you doing what you do? I ask myself that question sometimes. Why do I do the things that I do? Why do I even do half the things I do? It's because... Let's be honest. Most of you people kind of want it. But then there's times that there's I do things and I say to myself, who really deserves it? Very few times that I do things for people and they deserve it when they don't. Even when they think they do. They really don't. It's like giving the kid a toy that he or she deserves. They ask for it, they get it, and then it breaks two weeks in. Alright? It's like giving someone a Barbie dream house. It's one of the most awful things you can give to a child. Because then they think, oh, that's real. Let me tell you something right now. Newsflash, it's not. There's no such thing as a dream house. There's no such thing as a dream car. There's no such thing as a dream job. There really isn't. I hate to upset you people, but there really is no such thing as either one of those things. Okay? A job's a job. Car is a car, a house is a house. Maybe pretty and everything like that, but it's still a place that you feel safe, comforting, correct? I mean, there's no such thing as a dream job. There's no such thing as a dream car. There's no such thing as a dream house. Now, you can, you can accomplish your dreams. There's a such thing as goals in life you can go out there and you can succeed and you can do whatever the hell you want to but let it be clear no such thing as a dream job and when people say that there is there isn't because when's the last time someone did something and they're like you know what this is my dream job i absolutely love this no one that's who i think realistically here people think logically here for a second all right like, can you imagine if you were working at a Denny somewhere? Not a dream job, you're just doing it for the money. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? 
dream car. I'm sure a lot of people have one, but you know what? It costs money, and it's probably money that you don't have. Dream house. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's plenty of people that have one. But you know what? Again, that's money you don't have and money that you can't afford. Unless the bank gives you a loan, not a chance in hell. No such thing as a dream job, no such thing as a dream car, no such thing as a dream house. It's like when you have ice cream for the first time and it's like, ah, oh, it tastes so good, right? You love it, and you want to embrace that flavor. Well, guess what? That flavor goes away after a while. I don't mean to be a dream killer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying we got to think logically here for a second. Okay? No such thing. As a dream job, a dream house, and a dream car. There isn't. And that's the sad part. It truly is. The sad part of all is that we want to succeed. And then every once in a while, it gets snatched away from us. Pretty sad, right? Yeah, I know. But it's okay. It's okay. Because if you reach for the stars there, kids, you can get there. Going back to that whole taxi thing earlier. Don't be that guy. Because that guy clearly has nothing left to lose. It's like the musical notes that you see over there. Each musical note that we play... Is a different note. Every single day of our lives, we wake up to a different tune and a different note. Singing a different song, it's all the same, but it really isn't. Mrs. Claus over here, so I'm frozen by the way. That was awful. I just want to let you know that. That sucked terribly. Give it up. Give it up for Ty, everyone. Yeah, that's enough. It's enough. It's enough. In closing, just want to let all of you know that it's okay to dream, and dream big, but don't be the taxi driver. That is the adventure that is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me sign off so I can go slay the dragon. Until next time, America, I'm out!